Uh, some of you might remember, I've, I was a street outreach worker and work with the domestic violence and do street outreach uh, with the homeless. I also do it down in Florida. Uh, be prior to me doing this, I was a high school athletics director, teacher, and coach for over 20 years. Yes, I, I knew the athletics director and the football coach that was killed at Douglas. I've worked with gangs. I've seen a lot of senseless violence taking place. Rhode Island needs to try to help and stop it. The, you know, kids shooting kids for no reason because they're fighting over their girlfriends. I saw, unfortunately, I saw someone that took a rifle and, and all I saw was uh, the brain matter. It's pretty sad. My son's a high school teacher and coach too, and he's gone through a couple of things. Um, with domestic violence, it's, it's very sad. I, I was down in Florida last week. I just got back. I'm sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained. I just got back in new time today. Um, it's too many people being threatened. These laws need to take place. You know, people say that Parkland was a beautiful town. It is. For six months, I lived on Block Island. That's a beautiful town. Anything can happen there, too. You know, so please, please give this a lot of thought. And I, I think Rhode Island really needs it.